Hello students, welcome back to another video session. I am Shubhas Isdas, the physics faculty of IIT June tutorial. And in this video, actually I am going to show you how we do teach the students, those who are attending the live online classes with us for foundation course. So yes, in this particular video, I am going to show you what kind of things we are discussing in our regular live course, live classes that is meant for foundation course. So in foundation course, as I said that we are teaching the subjects physics, maths, chemistry and biology and that is basically targeting IIT foundation and NEET foundation. So as I said, yes, we are targeting, we are teaching aiming to the target of IITJ and NEET as a foundation course. But in this year, in this academic session, apart from continuing this particular feature, we are also going to give the support to the students that is basic ICC and CBC course. Yes, you are hearing it rightly. That is basic course of ICC and basic course of CBC that is school course that too will be covered up along with the foundation course which is mainly designed for IITJ and need early preparation. So yes, in this video, now you will see that few clips that what we are teaching in our regular live classes. So before going to this, I would like to tell you that if you are coming first time in this channel then please subscribe the channel press the bell icon for getting all upcoming videos notification and of course of course if you like the idea if you like the content then like this video share to maximum students and parents and to who, whoever to whom you know so that most of the students preparing for or aspiring for IETG and need uh, entrance preparation so that they can come to know about this particular channel where we are giving the extreme support maximum support and yes of course one more thing I would like to tell you that not only the live online class we also have started offline classes also so yes it will be going on in the hybrid model offline plus online with lots of classes regular paperwork assignments tests discussion doubt clearings lots of things are there so but before you decide that is this uh, particular course the course uh, given by iit june tutorial is it suitable for you or not so before that go and watch this video till the end These are the two circuit based diagram. This one is of length L. This one is also of length L. Now this is of area of cross section A2. This one is of area of cross section A1. Let uh, Potential difference of the batteries used in these two circuits are V1 and V2 respectively, right? The potential difference of the two batteries used here as V1 and V2. So now my question is, in order to have same current flowing through the conductors, in an order to have the same current flowing through the conductors, what will be the relation between A1 and A2 and that of V1 and V2?
if we notice about the same value of current is flowing through the conductors both the conductors if the amount of current flowing through the conductors same okay then what will be the relation between a1 and a2 and that between v1 and v2 through the conductors if same current flows then what we can do we can write down v1 is equal to i into r1 i don't know the resistance of this conductor can be taken r1 and in this we can write down v is equal to i into r2 yes or no we can write down the potential difference because see the when the current flows through the conductor then across the ends of the conductor the potential difference raised is equal to the potential difference of the applied source right the potential difference raised to the con uh, conductor for carrying current i will be equal to the potential difference across its terminal ends so v is equal to i r1 and that v2 is equal to i r2 <coughs> then what we can write down individually since we know that about r1 r1 is equal to rho into length by area of cross section isn't it do you remember this formula or not we discussed it in our previous class that resistance of a conductor straight conductor will be given by the formula rho l by a where rho is the resistivity that is a material property of the sub conductor l is the length of the conductor and a stands for its area of cross section similarly that of the second wire will have its resistance given by this <coughs> so now instead of r1 and r2 if we substitute this value uh, formula value of rho l by a then then <coughs> i can write down v1 is equal to i into rho l by a1 isn't it and here i can write down v2 is equal to i into rho l by a2 <coughs> which one is common in both the conductors that is i rho l in both the equations i can see i rho l remain same so therefore can i write down i into rho into l that is equal to v1 a1 if i do the cross multiplication it is v1 into a1 so that same will be in second equation v2 a2 that means in an order to form relation is concerned we can say we can say it is the ratio of area of cross section is inversely proportional to the ratio of potential difference of the applied source yes or no can we write down the result as a1 by a2 is coming equal to v2 by v1 